Welcome. If you're new over here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, three women shot dead, four-year-old abducted, police officers shot in Portmore and more. Two women have been arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm following an incident on William Street, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Monday, February 14. Charged are 25-year-old Javon Bissiaside, otherwise called Bossy, a music producer, and 28-year-old Kino Johnson, otherwise called Old Carpenter, both of William Street, Spanish Town. Reports from the St. Catherine North Police are that about 3 p.m., a police team acting on information conducted a stop raid at the address believed to be occupied by persons of interest. Interest. A firearm was recovered and both men were taken into custody. They were charged on Saturday, February 19, after an interview in the presence of their attorney. Their court date is being finalized. Robert Fowler, the Portmore based mechanic who is charged with the gruesome murder of 20 year old Kenneth Jackson in St. Catherine Community in March of last year, has signaled his intention to have a bail application made on his behalf in May. The disclosure was made by one of Fowler's attorney, Altia Freeman, when the matter was heard in the Home Circuit Court on Wednesday. Prosecutors disclosed at a court proceeding that next Friday the defense is to be served with a report from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Communication and Foreign Forensic Cybercrime Division that has been outstanding. Fowler was remanded in police custody by the High Court Judge Justice Anne Marie Lawrence until May 25. The bail application is expected to be heard on that date. Me personally feel as if, as this man mentioned, say, him having an intention, say, more on bail, I'm supposed to deny at the same time. Where him I get bail for come a road come do now? In a film all all days, so where him I get bail for come do? That me really want for know. Him not deserve to get bail at all. That I just own me seat. Viewers and subscribers, only thing. Only make me know down below in the comment section. We're moving right along. A police detective constable is now undergoing a surgical operation after he was shot and injured in Gregory Park St. Catherine this morning. The constable is assigned to the Caymanas police station. The incident occurred about 12.30 a.m. during an operation along Godley Avenue. It is reported that members of the police party were on mobile patrol in the area when they saw a group of men. The police attempt to approach the men on foot when one of the men opened gunfire. The police returned fire and during the exchange, the detective constable was eating his abdomen and side. He was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital. It's like Portmore is known for this. Every minute you hear say one next police officer get it over Portmore. How really I take place over there? The St. Catherine South Police have now charged a 31-year-old man arrested in connection with the murder of a female truck driver in Winster Heights, St. Catherine. Saddam Morgan, otherwise called Chakas, a welder of Winster Heights, has been charged with the murder, illegal possession of firearm, and a robbery with aggregation. Leona Kimi Salman, an employee of Grace Kennedy Limited, was killed two Thursdays ago. The body of the Winster Heights resident was found in bushes with her throat slashed. It also had multiple gunshot wounds. She had gone to the community to make deliveries when she was attacked, killed, and her body dumped. Morgan was charged at Old Arbor Police Station in St. Catherine on Saturday following a question and answer session in the presence of his lawyer. He is to appear in court in early March. Before Rona asked, yes. It was also said that somebody was killed as reprisal of this incident. If you never see the videos and the pictures and all we have to do with the crime scene, it is available in our Telegram group and even in our WhatsApp groups. So if you're interested for see them, you to just go on down in the description and click the link and join the group. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested for see it, no worries. Just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Just send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. But viewers and subscribers, as I said earlier, it was also said that somebody get wiped off of the map in relation to this incident. But well, it is never enough because a young lady never deserved nothing like this. So everybody who involved and who plan it, them need to get wiped off. And this year boy shouldn't even go in and lock up. The public know for deal with him better. We are we better. Because up to this moment, this still hurt me because this young lady got through all of this in her own own community somewhere where she live where people know her good good 
a desk of them do are all of this. So just imagine what them left other communities for do. What them would have left somebody else from outer port for do this young lady. Uno come on, man. Uno need for do better. She never deserve not like this. No matter what uno and her have, she never deserve it. Man, I lie. This is way over the boundary. So as me say, no matter how much time them have give this man, it not gonna make no sense. Worse if them give him time for him come back a him not for come back a road. If you not gonna make him come back a road in 10, 15 years time, you not just send him on come get the public. Make them deal with him. I do cheer him for going straight. Him not even hard labor not gonna make up for all of this. And that's just how me feel as a part of the public. Now viewers and subscribers, I'm gonna go know more information on an incident that we discussed yesterday in which a woman was killed in Spicy Hill, Trelawney. So, I could get down into it in details. A four-year-old girl who was believed to have been abducted by unknown attackers who shot and killed her mother and injured another woman on Saturday afternoon was found abandoned on the roadway hours after the attack. After the shooting, she ran and was later found by a farmer on the same road, a senior investigator told our news team. The police theorized that the deadly gun attack on the woman was a reprisal for the shooting death of a man in a community during the wee hours on Saturday morning. The deceased has been identified as 38-year-old laborer Ian Jarrett of Spice Hill and 21-year-old Tanika Ennis of Boston, USA. Up to late Saturday evening, the infant was in the possession of the Chilani police who indicated that she was not physically hurt. Meantime, the second woman who was shot during the attack remained in hospital in critical condition. Reports are that about 12.45, Ennis and her daughter and another woman were walking along a lonely road leading from Spicy Hill when they were attacked, where Ennis was pronounced dead and the other woman admitted in critical condition. But family members and residents became concerned after the infant could not be found. However, while the police were on the crime scene, news brought that she had been located further along the roadway. To God be the glory expressed a family member who was among the gathering that was at the crime scene. The shooting came about 11 hours after Jarrett was killed in his home not long after he returned from a party in his community. Reports are that about 1.30 a.m. residents heard gunshots coming from the direction of Jarrett's house. The police say his bullet riding body was discovered about 7 a.m. by family members. I don't know why someone would want to hurt him because he cannot even walk without crutch. One of Jarrett's family members explained the police say the attack was linked to an ongoing feud in the area between rival factions. It it is believed that Jarrett was killed because he was labeled as an informer. The police source told our news team that Ennis was believed to be connected to a member of one of the rival faction. We recently had a major operation in Spice Hill Space in search of individuals involved in an ongoing feud, Superintendent Carlos Russell, head of the Chilani Police Division, shared. Viewers and subscribers, a phone time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion is valid, so I'm not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.